Hey, it's Tom from WPBTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering the Elementor Pro Block Quote Widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to mention that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up for yourself. And if you want to get it and support my channel, you can get it at WPBTom.com slash Elementor. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to put the block quote widget in here, and we're just going to search for block, and here it is, block quote. I'm going to drag it and drop it within this little dummy text post here. And here we have the option to change the skin. So right by default, it's border, and that is this little border on the left side you see here. And then you have quotation, which gives you a quote. And then you have box, which basically centers it and has this gray background. And then you have clean, which is more of a basic look where there's not a whole lot going on in the background or anything. So I'm going to go and make it quotation and then I'm actually going to go and center it right here because I think it looks a little bit better like this. Now from here we can actually paste things in and I'm just going to paste in a silly Yogi Berra quote and if you don't know who Yogi Berra is he was an old baseball player. He had so many funny quotes or he was known for his ridiculous quotes. So I'm just going to paste this one in. It says baseball is 90% mental and the other half is physical. So that just gives you an idea of what kind of guy he was and how funny he was. So here we have a tweet button and we can have that on or off. I think it looks way better with it on. It gives people an option to share your content right on the actual article they're reading. So I'm going to leave that on. And the view we have icon and text which is the icon to the left side and just the tweet text right here. You can have it be icon or text. But I think overall I wouldn't use something like icon in my case because I think it's better to show people and make it simple stupid and show them exactly the action that's going to be taken. So it says tweet has the Twitter icon right there. There's no question of what you're going to do. It's not like right here where it says follow me. If people see just this little icon they might be thinking it's follow me like this one is over here. So I think it's better to have this that says tweet with the icon itself on there. So you can change it from classic to bubble which gives this little line coming out of the left side here and then we have a link which is just this. I think it looks a lot better just with the classic and then label tweet. I like the clarity in that as I just said and the username I'll just put at WP with Tom but you'd want to put whatever username you have in this case and I'll target this page this current page that we're on. So from here I'll just click update and I'll move on to the actual styling part. Now there's not a whole lot we can do here but we can change things like the text color and make it darker and that affects this right here on the actual content. We can change the typography. So let's just say we wanted to make it Leto or something nice and easy to read. We could do that there. We can resize it as needed. So I'll just make it like 35 in this example. Weight, I'll make it thicker so it really stands out and has a pop. And then if you want to change the gap, see this is going to be the gap between the actual content and the person that set it. So I'm going to make it just 20 in this case, a nice set amount. And then down here for the author, this is whoever said the quote right here. You can change the color and do whatever you would like with that one. I'm going to make it something that stands out just for this video so you can really see the difference. So I'm going to just do this color blue. I'll copy that for the next section here. And then if you want to change the typography, the gap, again, I'm going to leave those as is. For the button here, you can change the size. So I think it looks pretty good by default. But if you wanted to make it larger, you could do that or smaller. I don't know why you'd really want to make it too small though. But let's just say like 1.6 is probably around what it was. Here you can change the border radius. So if you have it all the way to the right, it should make it more of like a pill shape right here. And if you go all the way to the left or further to the left, it's going to be more square. And you can choose which one you like. I like it more of a pill shape, so I'll just go all the way to the right here. Then you can use the different colors. So if you want to use the official Twitter color, you can. Again, I would recommend that because people associate this color and this light blue and white with Twitter. But if you want to customize it to be the same site colors that you have going on and match them, I think that's fine as well. So for the text color, I'm going to leave it as is. Typography, I'll leave it as is. And I'll go down to this quote section. So within here, you can use different colors, and it's going to change this. I'll use the same color that I use for Yogi Berra's name, and it will make it stand out a little bit more if this color is different than the rest of the text on the page. 
Here you can change the size of it. By default, it's at one. If I wanted to make it huge and stand out, I can make it a two there, or I can make it even smaller. I'll just put it back as one and then leave it as is. Here you can change the gap between a quote and the actual icon. I don't think that's very necessary. I think it looks pretty good just like that. So really that's about all we can do with the block quote. It is a nice feature that you can just tweet out a quote and it encourages people to share your content, which is a great feature. Overall, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Elementor block quote widget. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.